This is an overview and demonstration of the Dell Equalogic host integration tools for Microsoft Windows version 4.0. There are two installation methods used to install the host integration tools. Manual, which must be used for first time installations, and remote. With the remote installation, you can easily install or upgrade the host integration tools on any number of hosts in parallel using the remote install process from the ASM GUI. You no longer have to log on to each host and manually run the installer. Remote systems can be rebooted if required post installation as well. If users are logged on to the remote hosts during a reboot, a message will pop up on the remote host notifying them of the impending reboot. Now it's important to point out there are two installation methods available. So you can use the Add Hosts wizard within the Auto Snapshot Manager GUI, and you can also use a PowerShell script. With the PowerShell script, you can basically perform unattended installations on the remote hosts. So you can specify multiple hosts when you run the script, and the host integration toolkit will be automatically installed on every remote host that you specify. Prerequisites for remote installations. So on your firewall, you have to allow incoming ping requests through the remote host's firewall to the remote host. You must also have administrator access to the remote hosts in which you are installing the host integration toolkit. The remote procedure call service must be running on the remote hosts. Also, the setup packages, setup.exe and setup64.exe, must be copied to a network shear that is accessible to all of the remote hosts. Let's take a look at the installation of the host integration tools on Microsoft Windows Server 2008. So first, I've copied the setup executables to a network shear that's available to all the remote hosts, setup.exe and setup64.exe. Since this host is a 64-bit system, I'm going to launch the setup64.exe. I'm going to accept to run the file. By the way, the setup package is now a Windows installer. Microsoft encourages third parties to use Windows Installer as the basis for installation frameworks. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next on the wizard. So this is the license agreement screen. So we're prompted to read and accept the license agreements for Dell and other associated third party software. So we'll just scroll through that quickly. So now that we've read the following license agreement carefully, we're going to accept the license agreement and click Next. We'll read the license agreement carefully and click Next. So the default destination folder is C Program Files Equalogic. I'll go ahead and accept the default installation directory, but you can also opt to change the directory here. We can either choose a complete, which is the default, or a custom installation. A complete installation will automatically install all components. If we choose to install the Multipath I.O. software components, the Windows operating system will require a reboot post-installation. A custom installation allows you to select which components will be installed, depending on which version of Windows you're using. Let's go ahead and select the custom installation so that we can become familiar with the various components. The Remote Setup Wizard enables you to initialize a PS Series SAN Array and set up or expand a PS Series group. You can also use the Remote Setup Wizard to configure MPIO. The PowerShell Tools option enables you to manage one or more PS Series groups through a comprehensive list of PowerShell commandlets. Auto Snapshot Manager Microsoft Edition enables you to create and manage smart copies, which are essentially snapshots, clones, or replicas. There is also an alternate command line interface which facilitates custom operations and scripting called Auto Snapshot Manager Command Line Interface. The Equalogic VSS provider supports VSS management of application consistent smart copies. The Equalogic VDS provider 
enables you to use Microsoft VDS and Microsoft Storage Manager for SANS to create and manage volumes in a PS Series group. Finally, the Multipath MPIO supports multipathing. This is basically a driver module that works in conjunction with the Microsoft MPIO driver. Dell Equalogic has developed a device specific module which plugs into the existing Microsoft MPIO framework and this device specific module allows you to optimize the use of a Dell Equalogic array with your Microsoft Windows operating system. The MPIO feature dynamically balances your iSCSI SAN traffic over multiple network paths that exist between the computer and your PS series group. You do need multiple iSCSI host bus adapters to use this feature. The MPIO DSM, by the way, can be configured again with the Remote Setup Wizard. So we will click Next now that we have selected all the components. And we will click Install to begin the installation. So the installer is now displaying the installation progress. If the installer encounters any problems here, there will be a dialog message that appears which will guide us through the recovery process. If any unrecoverable problems occur, there will be one or more diagnostic messages that might appear as part of the sequence. Just be sure to write down any of those messages for troubleshooting purposes. So the install shield wizard has completed. By the way, you can check this option to launch the remote setup wizard and also show the Windows installer log. Okay, The remote setup wizard will launch immediately. Also, since we opted to install the MPIO DSM as part of the custom installation, a system reboot is required. So as you can see, this message is prompting us. We can either reboot now or we can reboot later. I'm going to click no and restart the system later. And since we're not going to be setting up an array at this time, I'm going to cancel out of the remote setup wizard. But this wizard is what you would use to initially set up an array to make it available for first time use. You can also configure MPIO settings here and also configure access to a PS series SAN. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the server now. Give it a comment and click OK. So the Windows server has successfully restarted and we have successfully completed a local installation of the host integration toolkit. As you can see, an Equalogic folder has been added to the start menu. So we're going to go ahead and proceed to perform a remote installation. So if I just launch Auto Snapshot Manager, this is the newly designed Auto Snapshot Manager GUI. It's no longer a Microsoft Management Console snap-in as it was in previous versions of Auto Snapshot Manager. We're going to proceed to perform a remote installation. So first we have to click on Add Hosts. So there are several methods we can use to perform the remote installations. First we can discover through a PS Series group. When this option is selected, Auto Snapshot Manager will query the PS Series groups that are connected to any current HIT group members, including the local host. It will display all of the hosts connected to those groups. The Browse Network option allows you to select a host by browsing a network. You can only browse networks for which you have permissions, by the way. The Manual Entry option allows you to enter an IP address or host name for each host that you want to add in the HIT group. You can also import a file that lists all of the hosts that you want to add in the HIT group. The file is going to be parsed and then run through a manual entry process. The file can either be generated automatically from Auto Snapshot Manager by clicking File Export Host List. You can also create your own file for importing by saving a text file that contains a comma separated list of host IP addresses or fully qualified host names. So in this demo we're going to be choosing Manual Entry. So I select Manual Entry and click Next and I will browse to the location of that file and click Open. Auto Snapshot Manager asks, do you want to add these hosts? I'll select yes. Now Auto Snapshot Manager is verifying connections to all of the hosts and then it lists them on the right. Since this list does look accurate, I'm going to choose next. This screen asks us for user credentials to the remote hosts. If you belong to a domain, you would enter your domain here in the top field and then your username and password. 
Please keep in mind that you must have administrator type credentials to the remote hosts in order to successfully install the host integration tools. The install option section allows you to specify whether you want to install the MPIO and PowerShell components onto the remote hosts. It's important that you change the path of the installer directory field to a network share which contains the setup executables, both setup.exe and setup.64.exe, and this network share should be accessible to all of these remote hosts. So I'll enter my network share path there and click on Add Hosts. Auto Snapshot Manager is now verifying the user credentials that I entered. Auto Snapshot Manager is now installing the Dell Equalogic host integration tools onto the remote hosts. The installation process are now started on the specified hosts. Progress and status information will be displayed on this screen. An error message will be displayed, by the way, if the installation or upgrade cannot complete. So as we can see, the installation is complete on all of our remote hosts. We'll click Close. You also have the option to copy the results to a clipboard. So the hosts are now being added to a hit group on the local host that I'm running this Auto Snapshot Manager instance from. When these hosts are in a hit group, they can then be managed all from within this instance of Auto Snapshot Manager. This page displays the hosts that have been added to the hit group and what actions, such as installations or upgrades, have been performed on each host. This page also shows you whether or not a reboot is required on the remote hosts. If a reboot is required, we can just click Reboot All, this button down the bottom. Otherwise, we can click Finish. I'm going to go ahead and select to Reboot All, since we did opt to choose the MPIO component. By the way, if there are users remotely logged on while this reboot is taking place, then they do receive a notification informing them that the server will be restarted in two minutes. Once the installation is complete on the remote host, after the reboot, you can launch the remote setup wizard from the remote host in order to initialize an array, you can configure the host to access a PS series group, or you can configure uh, MPIO settings, just like you can as if you perform a manual local installation. I'm going to go ahead and click finish and just wait a moment for the hosts to restart. The remote hosts have successfully been restarted. In the tree panel on the left, you can see that all of the hosts have been added to this hit group. You can now start managing the hosts from here. By the way, if you want to stop managing a host, you can right click it and select stop managing. That will then remove the host from this hit group. So we have seen how to install the host integration toolkit locally as well as remotely by using the Auto Snapshot Manager remote installation procedure. This concludes our overview and demonstration of the Dell Equalogic host integration tools for Microsoft Windows version 4.0. Thank you for choosing Dell.